going on everybody well we're gonna take a little ride hope you can hear me I'm trying out this microphone with this full face helmet and uh, we're gonna go someplace special I know it's uh, special to a lot of people there we go so enjoy the ride let's see here there we go So yeah, a lot of you probably know that uh, I shared out on a lot of lives, updates for the uh, Great American Convoy with Adam Sandoval. And I really enjoyed doing it. I wish I could have rode with them, with the convoy from my dealership to the dealership over in Kansas, but yeah, that's another story. Uh, but as you can see, we're out riding once again. So, it's a beautiful day. It, well, it's a beautiful afternoon, I should say. <laughs> we had rain this morning and I was actually going to get up early and do this this morning, but I, uh, we didn't do that, so I'm glad it cleared up so I can bring you all along out here with me. Well, we've got about, I don't know, 20, 30 miles to go, so we will, uh, get an itch. <laughs> Seems like every time I get my helmet on, I get an itch once in a while. At least I won't be getting bombarded with bugs, you know? So, yeah. Well, just enjoy the scenery as we get going here, and uh, I'll see you all when I get on over there. This down here is all Missouri River bottom ground. Some very rich soil, and uh, and everything's looking good down here. I mean, corn's got good tassels on them. Looks like. The beans over there are looking all right. Won't be long, they'll be picking corn, you know, before we know it. I mean, yeah, we're looking at 
September, October, November, but time flies. I got a friend of mine that I work with, him and his wife, uh, they're going east and uh, I think they were in Ohio, just him and his wife and the motorcycle. Don't know where there's, you know, they probably get an Airbnb or a hotel or something, you know. They're kind of like me, they like them cheap hotels, mom and pop places. Not very many of them left. We're only about, I don't know, eight miles from our destination. We'll be crossing the Missouri River here in just a minute. Everybody, we made it to the Missouri State Veterans Cemetery, uh, just on the north side of Higginsville, Missouri. And this is the second time I've been here, but I don't remember when it was. It's probably been two, three years, and I really didn't spend much time in here. Uh, to honor our vets that have lost their lives. And uh, yeah, look at this here. 
my flippy around here. In honor of all who have served. They have benches here that, uh, well, like the American Legion, Rotary Club, in loving memory, Malta Bend Memorial Post 558. Warrensburg American Legion in loving memory and Waverly American Legion. Army, Navy, Air Force and uh, looks like Marine Corps and the Coast Guard. I wasn't sure what that one was up there. So, Korea, World War II, Vietnam, There's an XPOW So, the reason why I brought you here today is because there's a gentleman that I kind of met through a mutual friend. Uh, his channel name is JJ Drones. And I'll put the link in the description to his channel. I'll tag his channel in the description and uh, he and his company supports the wreaths across America. And if y'all don't know what that is, that is an organization that actually distributes wreaths on military members, uh, headstones, grave sites, and it is, and this is like, uh, you know, from Thanksgiving to Christmas, I believe. I'm not for sure. I did speak to him about this and talk to him what my ideas were a little bit, and he said, yeah, go ahead. You know, I didn't want to tag his channel or anything without his permission, and he does have an account to donate to the wreaths across America. I asked him how much each wreath was, and he said each wreath costs the organization $15 each. And I believe they do this at Arlington National Cemetery, and there's, uh, I can't even begin to tell you how many uh, sites there are there that didn't get the reefs and or that got reefs and didn't get reefs you know and there's I did a little research on their website a little bit and off the top of my head I couldn't tell you how many locations that the, that they do this for our veterans and and their families you know because 
if if I was a family member of a veteran and you know I wanted to go visit my loved one at their resting place around the holidays for instance Christmas that uh, that would mean that would mean a lot to me, to me to see that wreath so um, I myself did not serve in any form or fashion in a military. Um, I think back when I was 18, I talked to a recruiter. That was when we were starting to go overseas in the sandbox, as I like to say. And uh, he said they probably wouldn't take you because of your, your finger that you had crushed when you were a kid. So. Would I have gone? You darn right I would have. Uh, so I like to look at the the headstones and read them. Uh, and look at each it's it's neat how they have different things on the very top of the headstones. Uh, like they might have a heart, they might have a cross, they might have an eagle, you know, or whatever. So, you know, and they have a deal at the bottom of them. A loving husband, dad, and grandpa. So, yeah, my, uh, my uncle, he was in the Navy. <laughs> I think I've talked to this, about this before, but he got tired of milking cows, got into an argument, peeled out the driveway in his vehicle and came back a few days later and said, well, I enlisted in the Navy. I'm going to San Diego. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think my grandmother and my grandfather were very happy about that. But, and he didn't really talk about it much, you know. He, of course, there were, he didn't know where they were at half the time. So, well, we'll walk around a little bit here. There's another plaque over here that I want to show you that I haven't, I haven't seen it. So, let's walk over here for a minute. All right, that is the address that Abraham Lincoln delivered on November 19th, 1863 at the dedication of the Soldiers National Cemetery in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Pretty neat. Now let's see here. Duty, honor, country. May it always be so. Got a nice little pond here. Very nice. There was a water fountain over here, but it's turned off. <laughs> I'm kind of getting getting kind of thirsty so well thank you all for coming along on this little adventure with me and if you're a veteran thank you for your service and if you're a family member of a fallen veteran
Thank you for your sacrifice to have the freedoms that we have in this country. Turned out to be a beautiful day and a nice ride. So...